Hey there folks, I would like to welcome you to my new YouTube channel. Before I give you my three tips to how to avoid writer's block, uh, let me give you a little bit of background on myself. I am a traditionally published author. My publisher is based out of the UK and I will have more on them in future videos. I've written three novels, two of which have been published. I've written two short stories, they have both been published, and I am also a professional musician, and what I like to do with my YouTube channel is this. Each week I'm going to post a video. Uh, the first week is going to be uh, writing tips, and then the second week it's going to be tips on how to play fingerstyle guitar. I do believe there's a lot of quote-unquote author slash musicians out there, so I'm hoping that my channel will be of benefit to everyone. So without further ado, let's get at it. Alrighty, here we go. Bear with me, I'm going to read some of these points here because I want to make sure I get everything covered. Alright, the first and I think the most important thing is know exactly how you want your book to start. And I mean the very first sentence. Have that first sentence in your head right from the very get-go. And you want to know your main character, who he is or she is. You want to know their attributes. You want to know their flaws. You want to have an idea of who your character and your secondary characters are. The most important thing, step one, Tip number one, get that first sentence down. Write that first sentence down. Know exactly what it is you want. I'll give you an example of my first book, The Fine Line. Here's the first opening sentence, and I knew I wanted to use this for a long time. His heart pounded as he approached the doors to the Cosmopolitan Saloon. That's it. But after that, once you have that first sentence, there, there's a million, a million ways I could have gone from there. It could have been, anything could have happened. He could have opened the door and stepped in. The door could have flung open wide and hit him in the head as he stood there. He, a gunshot could have gone off. Like countless, millions of scenarios could unfold after that. Once you have the first sentence down, things will start to flow. Again, once you have an idea who your character is, who your secondary character is. Okay? Tip number two, you want to know where the story is going to be roughly in the middle of the book. You want to have an idea where you want your character or your main characters in the middle of the book, what you want them to be going through. It could be uh, an idea in your head where things are settled. Uh, there could be a, a problem with an adversary. Generally, that's always a better idea. You want to have conflict, of course, and, and suspense. But a, an idea of where they are in the middle of the book is important. You don't have to have anything you know, really written down. You don't have to have concrete sentences there. Although, if some do come to you in the process of your book while you're out having a coffee, out doing grocery shopping, whatever, Man, write them down. Write down your ideas. Write down your conversations that come to you. Because they will. But it, in the middle of the book, just have an idea where you want your characters to be. Third and last, you might have seen this one coming. You want to know, before you put your first word on paper for a book, what is your ending sentence going to be? You've got to have it in your head. You've got to have the book, the ending, 
exactly in your head. If you have that last sentence, if you have that last sentence, then everything will flow from the first one to the middle to the end. Don't worry about your adversary characters so much and other secondary characters, third characters, uh, they will come in your book. The story will flow. You will not get writer's block if you do those three steps. Now I know there are writers out there that like to just sit down in front of their typewriter and start writing. And if that works for them, that's great. But in all the writing I've done, uh, three novels, two short stories, I have never had writer's block, never using this technique. That's not to say that I don't sometimes sit down in front of that typewriter for 20 minutes trying to think of something to say, but it's not that I don't have the idea in my head, it's how do I want, how do I want to phrase it. That's the key. All right, I hope these videos help. And if you like them, please give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends. Go to my website, which I have a link to below. Check out my books, check out my work. Uh, please sign up and subscribe, uh, and subscribe to my email list on my website so you can get free downloads uh, and free stuff, a lot of cool stuff there. Again, I'm going to be posting a video every week, so I hope you'll join me, and I will say goodbye for now. Thank you so much. Have a great day, folks. Thank you.